Hey there, welcome to The Reinsurance Podcast, the place where we dive into all things reinsurance, the coolest part of insurance. We're your hosts, Jared and Ben, a couple of ex-practitioners who loved the industry so much we founded Superseed to tackle some of its biggest headaches. And we're here to share our insights and stories with expert guests as we uncover what's really going on in the industry. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Reinsurance Podcast, live from Monte Carlo RVS. I am delighted to say that we've got Danny Katz with us this time, the uh, co-founder of Optolytics, here to share lots of thoughts on things like AI, analytics, and underwriting, and so on. Uh, so hopefully you can unpick some mysteries for us on the show today. Danny, welcome. How are you? I'm good. Thanks, thanks for inviting me. It's great to be here. No, welcome. You, we're delighted to have you. We'd love to hear how you ended up co-founding a business focused on this very exciting area. Right, well, I, you know, originally I worked for Vitality and I helped to nice. get that business going. It was, it was great. It was a wonderful business, but it grew and grew and grew. And I realized what I love is startups. I, yeah. I love the, the thrill of kind of creating something new. So I decided to step out and do something which I could see was happening at, at, in Vitality, the advent of data and the information insight that comes from it. And that's kind of the original yeah. reason we set up Optolytics. With my co-founder, John, we thought there's useful data that we can use to improve insurer performance. Amazing, yeah, and certainly myself very familiar with the vitality propositions previously, and it was very exciting. Yeah. Being able to use your, your smartwatch and so on to earn <laughs> exactly. cinema tickets and gym memberships and all sorts of things. So I guess you've been figuring out how to translate I guess the health side maybe being very far along there to, to more broad applications at Optolytics. What, what does Optolytics do? Maybe do you want to share a bit of the yeah. uh, Optolytics version? Or Yeah, so, so we, we, we help insurers that want to um, price better, that help, help them go through the pricing transformation experience. We started off looking, you know, we were building systems and what we realized, um, and pricing systems, underwriting systems, we realized all the models were sitting in spreadsheets yeah. and it was a real problem. And to kind of create a, um, a system from a spreadsheet is, is really, really hard. So what we thought is, well, let's solve the problem quickly. And we came up with a, a product which allows us to turn a spreadsheet into a, an API, which is a system which can be used in a very scalable way. And that is the bait, that was how it um, really got going. And we now offer underwriting workbenches as well. Very cool. And, and APIs, it feels like, is a, something that the industry's got to grips with a bit now, which is nice. It is becoming yeah. a more prevalent, latent trend for our industry, whereas I guess we'll, we'll talk about maybe artificial intelligence in a bit, which is more of a yeah, stretch goal. Yeah. But uh, yeah, how, how have you seen things change in the last few years when it comes to industry tech adoption more generally? Well, it's quite amazing because we, when we started at Lloyd's Lab, yeah. you know, we started off and we, we had the system that could convert a spreadsheet into an API and we thought, Everyone's gonna love it, right? Yep. They're gonna love it. It's APIs are what everyone wants. Yep. Everyone's talking about it. Spreadsheets are what everyone's got, and they want to turn them into APIs. And when we did, we did it the, the you know through Lloyd's Lab, we must have had about six or seven yep. companies that did it, and they looked at it and said, "What do we do with an API?" Yeah, okay. it was like. Well, that, that was a bit of a revelation for us, and it um, led to our next product, which was um, Optolytics Quote, which takes those APIs and turns them into something useful that the underwriters can then use. So it was, it, was, it was interesting insight into where the market is and how it thinks, and how much further it's got to go. Perfect, and, and how, is, how is that changing the experience of an underwriter from that more spreadsheet-based model? You know, what, what's the before and after story, I guess, with Optolytics? I, I guess the, the, the before story is, I issue quotes all day on my spreadsheets and I have no idea how much I've issued. I have no yeah. idea the value, I have no mm -hmm. idea the risk I've taken on, I have no idea whether I've hit targets, missed targets, and when it, when it's going to happen. With, with our systems, what we do is we capture all that quote data right up front yeah. in real time. Mm -hmm. So people get that information inside to be able to kind of set, um, you know, set targets, understand how, how things work. Yeah, so that's kind of the, the, the big thing, the insight on your quote experience. We help people you know, govern the process a little bit better so you can see what quotes are being issued so you can see you can track what, what's mm -hmm. happening and then we bring in a, extra technology and systems like external data into the, the process which means you can price better you can price more accurately you can price based on what's going on right now with a I guess a co-pilot type view, where, yeah. you know, like you, with a heads-up display that tells you exactly what's going on. Yeah, and I can absolutely buy into uh, getting underwriters off that sort of off everything's offline mode to at least getting it all into the same place so you can interrogate it and so on. Yeah. And you touched on, I guess, sort of next steps maybe from there that that enables with co-pilots and dare I say, 
the, the AI, AI word that everybody's talking about here yeah. at the conference. So what's, what's your perspective on AI? Are we ready for it as an industry? Or? So uh, I, have, I have a few different views on it. Mm. Uh, I think as a kind of, as, as an underwriter tool to help them, to help underwriters make decisions, I think it's fantastic. Yeah. I think as a, it is nowhere near at the point where it can replace underwriters. Yeah. I think what it, I mean, the, the, the applications that I've seen where it's been, I think it's been really useful is where quotes are coming in and it's able to process those quotes and instantly put them in front of the underwriter. It, it, it kind of reduces the admin and, yeah, and, and, and helps the underwriter get going. But making decisions, I think we, as an industry and as, a, um, as companies, I think that ensures a long way from, yeah. from handing over that responsibility to, mm. to the technology. No, that makes sense, keeping the, the human in the loop, as they say. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. And what, what other themes have caught your eye here at the conference? What, what's, what are people so, talking about and what are you talking so about I'm today? Gonna, I'm going to turn that back to you because, oh, because, because I, this, this is the first time I've come and I'm, I, it's obviously the first day, so I haven't yet seen, but I get the impression AI obviously is, is one of the big themes. Mm. I also get the impression climate change is, is, is a very important theme and, and the, the change in the underlying risk. Yeah, I, what do you I, think? I, I would agree with you. Again, it's it's always interesting from a technologist to technologist to see a lot of talking about these big themes, but not necessarily that much activity. I, yeah, I, I did an interview the other day looking at you know some of these topics and the way that everybody descends on Monte Carlo and proclaims how they're going to save the world. <laughs> but when you actually dig in a bit deeper to see what's what's actually happening, it, it can be a bit uh, underwhelming at times. So hopefully, on those big themes that you mentioned, AI and climate change yeah. and and cyber and elsewhere, you know. Still room to, to, to actually do some things, I think, and not just talk about them. So we'll, we'll watch this space. Certainly the, the blank page has been set out before the industry to start writing upon. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, have you found your first Monte Carlo then, in that case? Oh, well, as I said, I, I just, we, we've just arrived. We're, yeah. we're lo really looking forward to it. Got quite a few meetings lined up with, with different reinsurers and insurers and clients. Um, so really looking forward to it. Um, weather's beautiful, on a boat. What, what more could you ask for? Absolutely. So you'll be back next year then, do you think? Definitely. Brilliant. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you there then, Danny, and uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. It's thank been you. a real pleasure. Thank you. Brilliant. Ben, it's been great. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks for tuning in to the Reinsurance Podcast. If you enjoyed our show, don't forget to subscribe wherever you get your podcasts and leave us a review to let us know how we're doing, preferably five stars. For more insights and updates, follow us on LinkedIn and visit our website at supersea.com forward slash podcasts. You'll find the links in the show notes.